Hey friends, I hope you're all doing well today. Today you're getting me at 100% hot and that's levels. I was just getting back into the swing of working and whatnot when I got a little beautiful package in the mail from Fashion File. I don't want to show you the front because it has my address and I want to have a little bit of anonymity on the internet. I don't really want y'all knowing where I live, but I picked myself up a, as you can tell, a little small leather good from Louis Vuitton off of Fashion File. I had originally looked for this item on the Louis Vuitton site and it was in stock. A lot of the items that used to never be on stock on the Louis Vuitton site are in stock now. I have a suspicion that a big part of that has to do with the recession that everybody is in. Like it, it, it's hard out here for everybody. But going through cancer, going literally through all of the treatments and surgery, I figured I deserved a little something nice. And I do have a reason for getting this item. So I was going to get it new off of the Louis Vuitton site, but I decided to check Fashion File first. I've talked about this a little bit in the blog. I've talked about this, I think, on camera too. But I do prefer buying my items used if I can. One, it's just a little bit more sustainable that way. I mean, there's an argument to be made if anything luxury is sustainable at all. But if I can help reduce on mass consumption, um, you know, I, I like feeling like I'm doing a little bit uh, to help with the problem <laughs> that uh, fashion can create with sustainability. But I also like to save coin. Like if I can save even a little bit here or there off, I am all for it. Um, so I looked at Fashion File and the item there, when I first saw, they have a couple of the items in new to like new condition on the site and a lot of them were actually more expensive than they were at Louis Vuitton which I thought was weird because why would I buy something used for more when I can get it new for less but I did find this one in like new condition and it was uh Gosh, with taxes, I paid about $4.75 for it, which was a little bit less than they have it on the site. Oh my gosh, I'm really struggling with the, oh my gosh, I've never struggled with one of these boxes so much. It might be because I recently, here, like this might be graphic, but I recently got my port installed for chemo, so we're starting that soon, and I'm just having a hard time with my arms. But, here she is with the little confetti, the first time I bought from Fashion File and I had that confetti. Oh my gosh, it got all over my room. I didn't know what to do, but it was a little bit of happiness, right? So here it is. Like I said, it's gonna be a small leather good with the box and everything. It's gonna be a small leather good that I can use to help store cards. I'm not sure if I wanna store my medical cards in there yet or if I want to do um, like, you know, my regular day-to-day -day cards, but they didn't put it in the dust bag, which is fine. It's the Rosalie coin purse, which is just so darling. Oh my goodness. It is so freaking cute. So I do have the round coin purse, the original round coin purse. I honestly don't know where that's at because my children love that piece so much. They take that one and they play with it all the time. So I no longer really consider that, you know, a mommy piece. That is like now my children's toy <laughs> piece. Um, so don't have a coin purse, um, but a lot of my stuff comes like, well, like, okay, I don't know how to say it, but I pulled out some other SLGs I have from Louis Vuitton. So this is my Victorine wallet right here in the Dami Ben, and this is my Zoe wallet here in uh, the Dami Azure with the, uh, I don't know what collection this was from, but it has like a little brass, um, I don't know what you would call them, the little brass knobs right here. And it's the same with this card holder here. So they have like, you know, the little brass studs on them and I just found those to be so cute I picked uh, this one up in Chicago I have a vlog on that and then I picked this one up in Seattle shortly after um, and then again the Victorine so I love compact wallets 
and I felt like this would be a nice compact wallet too and I just have so many cards that I have to carry with me now like on a day-to-day -day basis that I wanted something a little bit bigger that I felt could do a good job and so I already knew that I had the Zoe wallet but I just wanted something a little bit different I wanted some new eye candy I felt like if I had to go through all this stuff I deserve <laughs> I deserve a little something cute and special so like size wise it's just a little bit bigger than the Zoe wallet but it doesn't expand like the Zoe wallet right so the Zoe wallet expands pretty well I can easily hold cash in here and I do like carrying cash with me it also has this little compartment here for coins I always carry coins with me I carry enough coins to make two dollars in a change in different denominations that way I always can have exact change with me that works out really really well um on the Zoe wallet you have the ability to do the same right there it has two card slots right there with a little thing in the back for cards and this big kind of pocket right here that I've seen you can fold up and put cash there as well so I just thought this would be another kind of compact option for me to put all my medical cards that I need to carry I don't want to show you my cards but with one two three four five so I have like five cards in here I'm just gonna stick them so I just stuck my five cards in there and there's a lot of space over here if I want to have more cards. So I know there's like the slip pockets here for the cards but honestly with how often I'm finding myself pulling out these cards because I'm still flying and things like that. Having a space where I can just kind of flip through them like this and not have to go in and out of my wallet has been just it just seems so much easier for me that I really like this idea. Like, I really, really like this idea. This one, of course, is in the powdered rose, I believe it's called, which is the same color as my, this is actually the MM size. I was calling it the BB size in the other video. And then like, I don't know why I was calling it the BB size because it felt like it was the BB size to me. But uh, I went through and I looked through my receipts. Y'all are right, it's the MM size. I'm gonna have to change that. Um, but it is the same color as this, which is a bag that I like to wear a lot. Um, I'm noticing though that the uh, Empreant stamping on this one isn't as pronounced on, um, it's not as pronounced on this one as it is on my Montaigne. Um, so like it's actually kind of fading a little bit which I know it happens on some of the Empreant pieces I have uh, one well I have two Empreant pieces I have the giant monogram for the speedy 25 and then no the speedy 20 yeah the speedy 20 and then I could be so bad with these I apologize lots running through my mind right and then I also have I want to say the Sarah wallet um, and the Empreant on that has been very defined this one is very very light right so there's not a lot of wear on this it is in like new condition there's no scratches or anything like that but the Empreant stamping is very light I don't know how I feel about that because it feels like it's gonna like kind of you know come up and go away which is unfortunate but it does feel very nice very smooth very buttery as I expect from Empreant leather it's one of my favorite leathers from Louis Vuitton I really do like Empreant and then the inside is the textured grain leather that you see in like all of their wallets it's the same as the Zoe wallet as well and then when you go to the inside like where you can stuff your cards out that is a smooth leather and this looks like it has like a textured lining in there which I think it's also the same on the Zoe no the Zoe it is all leather in there that's all so that's weird that that would be that's really weird that it would be like not leather and that's weird because this one right here is smooth leather and then yeah inside here is not let's check inside this zip 
and inside the zip is leather too so I find that kind of weird I guess I'm gonna have to do some research just to make sure that is the way it's supposed to be it probably is but I'm gonna do a little research first just to make sure okay so it's been some time I had to go and check some comparison videos and photos and whatnot it is supposed to look like that it's, I just found it different because with the Zoe wallet it wasn't like that and wasn't like that with the Victorine wallet instead maybe it is something that they started doing after 2018 2019 I don't know but it is supposed to look like that so um, this isn't a comparison video, this isn't a review video, this is an unboxing video, but before I took off my fashion file tag, I wanted to make sure that this would indeed work for my needs, which was something that was compact that could hold a lot. Because um, like I said, I, I carry a lot of cards now. I used to never really be a big card person, like this would be good for me, like card holders were really good for me. Now I need something a little bit more. Um, so I went ahead and I filled her up. I have about 10 cards up here in this compartment right here. I have a nice little stack of, how many bills do I have? Eight bills all rolled up in here and they fit really easily in the back portion right here. I suppose you could also put in the zipper portion if you want or put it in this middle section if you want it as well. And then I have uh, just some coins in the front right here and it does fit it is a tight fit like it's not the most comfortable fit it's definitely I wouldn't say it's it's not the most comfortable fit it's not a fit that I'm too worried about either because she does fit clothes and this is what her job is right so I do see that it's listing a little bit when it's this full but for me this is a piece that is meant to be full um, because I have a lot that I have to carry. Um, I have to be honest forgot that I had this for a while. I do think that this could probably fit the same needs. For me the difference is though I would have to go and pull all my cards out from here instead of being able just to go and kind of fish them this way. This just feels a little bit easier for travel for me versus if I'm just, you know, going to the store and there's like, I basically only use like one or two cards on a regular basis. Um, I feel like this is just a lot easier for me. And also if I'm going to like a market or something like that where I know I have to use cash, I feel like this is gonna be easier because I have my cash laid out like this. I can go in and out and get my cash fairly easily. Um, my Victorine wallet, I absolutely love it. Uh, but it's not one that I really use that often. Um, basically, I just have like a whole bunch of loyalty cards in here, but because I typically use smaller purses and bags, this still just feels a little bit too big for me as a compact wallet. Um, but I do like the Victorine. If you want like a little bit of a bigger wallet, um, that's still compact. I think the Victorine, it's a really lovely, lovely choice. Um, but for me, it's been between the Zoe and card holders, and I am very glad to have this option now. It's, it's big enough to fit a lot of cards just standalone right here, and although I wish I could kind of have my bills flat, um, it's big enough to hold my bills and it's big enough to hold coins too. So I do feel like this is going to be a one-stop shop. At first I was thinking, you know, I would have like the Rosalie coin purse and then like a card holder in my bag but I honestly think like with this I don't need to have the other card holder we'll see if I need to carry I don't think I could do more than 10 cards in here um, I think 10 cards and bills and coins is going to be pushing this limit here um, but I do like that again since I carry almost exclusively smaller bags that um, this really does give me the option to just have one little SLG and then I can have like my six ring king, my six ring key holder as well and it just not really be a problem. So that was my little unboxing of this little cutie beauty right here. 
Um, I really am happy with her. It's a little array of sunshine. And I don't want to say a dark time because that just makes it sound overly dramatic. Uh, but a not so fun time, a little storm that we have to shelter from until we get to the other side. But it is a little storm. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with this right now. We will see, right? Um, we'll see how it works for me in the future but i think it's gonna work out really well all right i'm gonna stop rambling i hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are and i will see you guys next time bye